All right, so today we got something a little bit more fun, a little bit different. We're gonna work on. Uh, I bought a club car, 1998 DS model. Um, it's been worn out pretty good. People used it up a little bit, but we're gonna fix it up so we can take it when we go camping and through a yard and everything like that. We bought new wheels and tires, uh, lift kit, new seat covers. Uh, we bought a back seat kit for the girls. Um, we bought quite a few things for it. Bought this uh, rocks spindle lift kit. It looks like it comes with some steel spindles, uh, some saddle lifts, some spacers, some bolts and different hardware. Um, we bought a light kit for it, the LED lights, uh, all the seat covers, all the bushings, uh, also bought a fuse block, some wiring, we're going to put switches, uh, outlets in it, everything like that. Uh, we found different snubber for the engine mounts, we got shock mounts. Uh, also, a few years ago my wife had bought me a heated seat kit for something I was doing. I'm going to throw it in here because we, I haven't used it on anything, and if I'm going to be reupholstering this, and we're going to take the girls around trick or treating and stuff like that with it, uh, it'll be fine. We also bought uh, new belts, everything like that. So we're going to try and fix all the typical PM maintenance stuff on it while we got it apart. Uh, this one is the gas model. It runs fine, but the starter belt slips. I also bought uh, starter and generator brushes for it. Um, so we'll change those out. Anything else we need to change out while we're doing it? Uh, try and get it on the way. I, like I said, it runs perfect. We just want to get these few things taken care of and uh, hopefully have it for a long time. It seems to be a solid model. Uh, the frame's made with aluminum. Everything on it seems to be... I haven't seen any cracks yet, but we'll find any if there are today. So I'm going to get it up on jack stands, get the wheels off, and we'll move on from there. All right. I got the spindles off. Yeah. I noticed that the shock bushings are a little dry rotted, so we're going to check the shocks out. Um, nothing major there. The rest of the bushings look okay. Uh, I'm going to check them all out, make sure it's good. Uh, the kingpins on this one were absolutely trashed. Just junk. And if guys have a lot of play in their steering, I noticed that the tie rods had actually worked loose in the tapers on these spindles. So that's something to watch out for. Um, I'm going to measure the kingpin and see if it's within spec or if we got to go source something else because... It definitely feels a little bit uh, worn, so we'll check it out. Same thing on the other side. Um, it does say to take these off first, but I'm not really concerned about it. I'll get them off when I get them off. I'm going to clean it all up and reassemble it. Other than that, it's not, not too bad. I think it took all of about 20 minutes to take everything apart. That was kind of taking my time and looking around and chasing a few things while I'm there. So next up. We'll start doing it. Their, their instructions are, there's only a few, one page, and uh, it tells you really how simple it can be. But I'll bring you back when we start installing it, and we'll look again. All right, I got all the uh, bushings changed in the upper and lower arms, up lower spring. Uh, I got the new spindle on. Um, all the old bushings were just absolutely, they were worn out. Um, one thing I did here was sometimes people are having a problem with it not steering as much left or right. Um, you will have to grind that stop down to adjust that if it if that's the case. I haven't checked here yet, but I will. Then uh, make sure you grease your kingpins and grease your tie rods, everything while you're in here. That way, you know, it's good. I just used crimson red I have here so like I said I bought 
this kit. Um, I think the company's like 10L or something. And they make a lot of aftermarket golf cart stuff. They work pretty good. They fit, fit fine. A couple of the sleeves were a little too long. So, you know, they protruded a little too much from the bushing. So I trimmed them down. But other than that, no big deal. Uh, so all I have to do is put on the hubs and the front end is done except for there's a little spacer plate that goes underneath the, the front leaf spring. And then I'll put that in and we'll move on to the back. All right, we got the lift kit installed, uh, front and rear done, all rebushed. Uh, wasn't terribly a hard job. The instructions do leave a lot out. All right, we got the lift kit installed. Uh, like I said, the instructions, they're not very thorough. They leave a few things out. Um, I got the back side all done, all new bushings, all new uh, bolts, hardware, everything. I've replaced it all because it was just corroded, rotted. And while you're there, you might as well have it done. You don't have to worry about it. The uh, bushings in this one and the leaf springs were actually so bad, the tires were swaying back and forth and rubbing. And like I said, I bought it very used. It actually came from a golf course. So, you know, they probably weren't high on PM, just more uh, get get it out so they can play another round. Um, one other thing I noticed is this uh, ground wire was definitely way too short. So I put it, I made a new one and uh, seems to be good now. The other thing is I changed both belts and make sure you uh, make sure you change this back one before you put the front one on because if not you got to take it all back apart so that you know i definitely missed that on the first one and i was like oh man I had to tear it back apart um it wasn't really a big deal it just took a few things if you take that front pulley off the bolt is left hand thread so another thing to watch out for now I started tearing all this apart so I can get the back seat kit on and get all the everything recovered. So that's where I'm at now. Um, and like I said, not a big, big deal at all. This engine snubber though is definitely bad. So we'll replace that in a little bit. These things have a huge gas tank though. I, I can't even believe it, the size of it, but I'll bring you guys back. After a minute, like I said, this is the cheaper uh, rocks kit, and it honestly it works pretty good. Um, the only thing that I see that they're missing, their instructions are terrible. Um, one other thing I'm noticing is it looks like the brake cables are going to be a little, little bit tight. So I'm going to see what I can do about that. Um, see if there's a little better way to route them or get a little more slack in them. But I'll work on that in a minute. All right, we got the back seat put on. Uh, it went pretty easily. Um, the only thing is, some of these screws, they only, they give you self-tapping screws to put in the wood to hold it down. Some of these holes aren't drilled big enough, so the screw wants to stop before it sucks the seat in. So you'll have to do that yourself, uh, drill it out a little bit. These bolts right here go through with no support, so don't reef on them. Just snug them up and call it done. Same thing with all of them. They do it on each side. I don't, I mean, it, it would hold and work fine. And that's just it. Uh, we get the, like I said, we get the back done. And I figured out the brake cables. Uh, there's a hanger a little bit further up. You just have to take it down and retie the brake line somewhere else. So no big deal there. Um, on all. Looks good so far. Uh, I'm happy with it. Like I said, I still need to do a few more things. And I noticed that this intake elbow was ripped and it's been patched with tape. So we'll order another one of those and get it done. No big deal because they actually use the choke in the air box. There's no choke on the carburetor. It's actually into the air box. It's kind of a neat setup, but I guess it works for them. And then I'll show you how to adjust the governor a little bit. So 
we'll see how fast it goes first. If I need to adjust it, we will. If it's too fast or too slow, we'll, we'll adjust it either way. You got it? It's slipping. I have to hold from these sides. All right. Line it up on the center. I can't see. There you go. Good job. I don't, I didn't line it up. That's okay. You had it on there. You have to line up the wheel studs. I can't see that. Well, look down from here. It's connected. See? Look right here. Well, no. I'm looking right in. Look. See? Right there. Um, it's now push it on. Eat. Eat. Got it. I saw that red eye and I thought it was like a ray recording. There you go. Now, Reminding the golf cart. we need to put the lug nuts on. What's that? So there's four dumb bags. Mm-hmm. Put them on those threads. Okay, Dad, you have to cover yourself. Daddy, I'm going to read. Yep. Remember. Turn it to the right. This way? No, the other right. It's falling off. Here, how about I get them started for you? And then you turn them I the rest of the way. Stuff. I That's always okay. get the... Okay, no. so this way. I mm -hmm. always twist the ball. I cut the wrong way. That's okay. <laughs> Go ahead. God. Okay, keep going. I'm hitting this SS. For silly sad, silly banana. Mm -hmm. yeah. Silly sand, yeah. Now we have tire one. Yep, yeah, you want to bring the other one over? So it's going to go on this side. Yep. Yeah. I'll get the lug nuts in the cap. Can you do it? <laughs> Lift with your legs. Good job. Go ahead, set it down. I'll help you get it up. Yeah, well, we're not done yet. Yeah, we're only probably near close to half past way, but we're almost halfway, probably. Or we're past halfway. Like, a little bit past halfway, because then we have those seats, mm -hmm. and I don't know what else. Then we have to put in all the wiring. All the wiring. Okay, here we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, uh oh. It's all right. I know, when you hit that SS, it stops your hand and it goes oof, oof, oof. All right, you tighten these down and I'll go tighten the other ones down. All right, so we moved on to putting in the headlights and taillights. And what I like to do is I take a hole saw. You can do them in the four corners or in the middle. In the middle is easy right now because I don't have a real small one here at home. And then uh, just take a jigsaw and cut the body out. Cuts really nicely, really easy. They give you templates that, you know, match up to the body lines. So it's not terribly bad. Um, this one, I wish I would have done it before I put the rear seat on, but it is what it is. We'll get there. So... And then uh, also, there's a bushing in this column I noticed it was bad, so I spun up a new one on a lathe. It looks like from the factory they use nylon or Delrin. I made it out of uh, aluminum with a grease groove in it, so it's nice and tight now. And uh, I'm going to straighten the steering wheel out. I got it aligned. I just need to straighten the steering wheel out a little bit, and we're good. All right, got the headlights and 
taillights wired in. These are just right off uh, Amazon. They're pretty bright. The wiring harness is, uh, it works. It's way too long, but it works. Um, the one thing I, they give you like drywall screws to hold these in. So what I did instead was I have some stainless washers and screws and I use those to give it a little more support. They don't fit terribly, but there are little gaps here and there. Um, it's not bad. I started to recover the seat. This wood is just destroyed and gone. So I got a new piece. We're going to cut it out. They use these, uh, I always call them furniture inserts. They're for putting threads in wood. That's how they bolt the uh, seat frame on. So I went and got some of those too and some stainless screws, a little bit of NICs and it should be good. I just took a grinder and cut those off because they were spinning. So that's the easiest way to get them off. Um, I did make arrows because it looks the same, but the offsets are a little different. I don't know if that's by purpose, design, or just the way they did it, because I'm sure they didn't put much time into making all these. So it looks like also they cut little air holes in it so the cushion can squish down a little better. So we'll do that and should be ready to go. Also bought a little piece of, for the, you know, for the cushions for the head and a little piece of diamond plate so I can put the switch panel in where I want it. And we'll be about done. I'm also gonna, like I said, put in the heated seats while I'm in there. Um, no reason other than I had it. It'll be just something nice to have. I'll bring you guys back as I make a little progress with it and We'll go from there. There we got everything done. Seats recovered. Probably gonna have to add a little bit more cushion there. There's a few wrinkles that maybe they'll come out when it gets warm, maybe not. Uh, steering wheel, just no more play in it. It's good to go. We added in our USB outlets, uh, cigarette lighter, push button for the lights, and we got our high and low seat warmers. Uh, we're gonna go play out in the snow see how she does with our nice warm butts and hopefully we don't get stuck somewhere in the backyard I doubt it it'll this is only a, a light dusting for us but still should be fun to play with <laughs> 